Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about LazyDroid Web Desktop. Basically, LazyDroid is an app to access your phone from a web browser. Basically, it's, um, it's accessing your phone through a web interface using a browser and you can access your phone's um, file system or just about anything and I'll show you right now. First, of course, to use the app, you need to download the app. This is the um, market link. You just go to Android Market and search for LazyDroid. And of course, you need to be connected to Wi-Fi, like what I've done. And of course, you need to open up the LazyDroid app, which is right here. Once you open it up, yes, it will prompt you. And it will give you a IP address and that's all. You type this in into your web browser and off you go. Now let's get back to the browser and I'll type in the stuff right here and it should bring you to this web page. I'm fairly confident that this is accessed uh, locally, which is uh, through LAN or wireless LAN if you're connected through Wi Fi. And what you can do with LazyDroid is that first you can access your file manager. Um, as you can see, I'm accessing my file manager. I can I'll just zoom in a bit. I open up my SD card and these are my stuff as you can see the super user here this is basically my SD card okay uh, <clears throat> let's say you want to transfer a file from your phone to your desktop just click on the file and click um, you can either double click and it will start downloading Let's look at the speed. The speed is climbing. Now I'm pretty sure that's LAN or Ethernet speed because my internet package is like one one meg, one megabits per second. So yeah. Okay, let's say you want to upload a file to your phone using LazyDroid. Click upload, select this one, open, and click upload. And the upload is done. That's quick. That's very, very fast. Let's check my phone for the file. And right. And sure enough, the file is right inside. And you can see it's just uploaded. Okay. Alright, now let's try the SMS feature. Um, I have my mom's phone here. And let's open up my mom. SMS, let's say, Hi, I'm testing out lazy droid send says operation progress sure enough the sms gets sent now let's try the call feature contacts okay um, I found my mom same thing camera phone is right here just like my mom once you pull out a contact you can either send an SMS call or delete so in this window I'm trying to call call in progress
let's see what happens if I receive a call. Let's see if it appears on Lazy Droid. As you can see, it says there, incoming call. My mum and my phone's ringing as well. So let's see if I can drop the call using Lazy Droid. Oh, sure enough, it does. Everything works. Okay, let's see if let's see what happens if I receive a message. Okay, the message is English frequencies is high, and I'll send it over. And I should get any notifications in a while. I got it on my phone. Is it going to appear on Lazy Droid? It seems not interesting. If I open SMS, it does show that I have a new message from my mum, but it doesn't show a notification out here. Let's try another one. I click send. Send a message. Message sent. Oh, there again. Lazy Droid doesn't work. Only works for phone calls, it seems. Let's try calling me again. Darling. Hmm. Calls work, but messages do not. Another bug, it seems. Another feature about Lazy Droid is that you can access your sensors, the phone sensors. And of course, I've turned my GPS off. And as you can see, when I Turn my phone, it follows wherever the c compass is pointing. But unfortunately, once the screen sleeps, it doesn't work anymore. So that's a limitation, I guess. And you can see the, the sensors are not working, but once I once I turn it back on, my screen back on, and you can see it just start moving again. Okay. Now the next cool feature is the remote view feature. Um, this feature requires root access on the phone, so um, this feature is only available for root users. Click it once and let it load. And as you can see, yep, right there. So after after some time of letting the uh, GPS load, it eventually locked to my position. As you can see, it loads up a Google Maps showing my position. And on the right, I open up the live view, the remote view window showing that um, <clears throat> the GPS actually had a lock. And this is my phone. Yeah, obviously showing the same thing yeah so yeah it sort of works as you can see me I'm moving the phone around the sensor changes the orientation now the camera doesn't the camera icon here doesn't work so now I'm trying to access 
camera through the phone itself and see if it shows up on the remote view window. Camera. And you see my camera working, but unfortunately, the the web app, uh, the app is not showing up any stream from the camera. So what works with LazyDroid? Basically we know that the file manager works, sensors work, remote view works, making a call and receiving a call works, uh, messaging we can send, we can receive but we won't be getting a notification when we receive. Uh, going through our contacts list works and looking through the messages works as well. But of course, the camera doesn't work. As in the review, the remote capture thing just doesn't work. All right, <clears throat> that's it for the video on LazyDroid web desktop. If you want to download this app, scan this QR code or visit the Android market. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.